Welcome back. This is our posture clinic of the month. Nicole from Ben Hot Yoga here, and Casey is actually with us today, and she's going to demonstrate our extended triangle pose, otherwise known as Utita Trikonasana. And as many of you know, in our studio, we lovingly refer to this posture as triangle. So in this session, we're going to focus on the upper body or the torso. So let's begin in a to stance, wide legs, so just step the feet out wide, maybe three feet, maybe a little wider, toes turned slightly inward. Gently extend the arms, bringing them to the side walls, keeping them at shoulder height, and just roll the shoulders down the back. And let's begin by lifting the right toes, turning them to the right. Now before we move into our triangle, let's look to the left and relax the neck. Take a breath here. Let the shoulders relax, let them fall down the back. Remember to keep the muscle to the bone, that those arms muscles are what is supporting your arms, not the shoulders here. And let's turn the gaze to the right, just looking out over that middle finger. We're going to begin sliding the rib cage from side to side. So just finding how much movement is available for your body. Um, just really kind of loosening, lubricating the joints, feeling the spine move. And as you can see Casey moving, you can see how much she can extend her torso out over that front leg. And that's just giving her a sense of her center and also maybe where her edge might be today. So let's come back to our center. Roll the shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Slide the ribcage forward and bump that back hip way out. Allow that back hip to roll slightly inward as you press into the outside edge of your foot. Maybe you'll feel the inside arch of your foot lift. And slowly begin to hinge, stacking the shoulders. So if you notice, as Casey moves, her legs didn't move. She just basically moved from the upper part of her torso. And actually, it was her spine. So as we fold to the side, you can see that her torso is really long on the left. We're stacking the shoulders. And Casey is actually lifting her gaze. So that might be challenging for some of you, so feel free to look straight ahead, or it might even feel better to look down at your toe. For me, because I carry so much stress and tension in my upper back and neck, it's a challenge for me to gaze up. So whatever you're comfortable, you might want to try all three positions with the head, just landing in a place that feels comfortable where you can actually hold and breathe. Now one of the things to take note here is Casey's legs. Her front knee is just bent slightly. Her knee is not locked out. That's the biggest key. And the quadricep muscle, that top muscle on her thigh, is really strong. Her legs are strong. And she's actively reaching up to the sky and actively reaching, pressing her fingertips into her shin. We're going to hold here for five breaths, which I guarantee that she's already been here for five breaths. Gently pull the belly in and slowly begin to rise up. Let's meet back in that wide leg stance. Gently turn the toes forward and let's rest in mountain pose for a moment. So a couple of things to remember before we move into it one more time. We don't want to lock out the legs. We want to keep the sides of the body really long. And one of the cues that we like to use at the studio is to imagine pressing the back side of your body up against a wall. So we want to feel the chest opening as we reach the hands away from each other. We want to feel the chest lengthening, as well as the spine. So you're reaching to the sky and to the floor. You're also reaching side to side with the entire body. So let's move through it one more time, beginning in a to stance, wide leg stance. Extend the arms, roll the shoulders down. Lift the right toes, pivot on the heel. Strengthening through the back leg. Inhale, slide the ribcage forward. Exhale, hinge, reaching for the shin, maybe the top of the foot, maybe the ankle. So Kelly, Kelly, excuse me, Casey is pulling her belly in and up, and she's gazing up at her thumb. Her shoulders are stacked. Her knee is slightly bent, and she's just breathing. How do you feel, Casey? Can you breathe? I can breathe. And she can talk, so that's a good sign. To release, gently inhale, rise, and exhale, release, step the feet together. Well done. Thank you all for joining us today. We'll see you soon at practice. Namaste.